Um, who is it? Your delivery for your one medium sized pizza? Uh, I didn't order any pizza. Cody Mortal at checkout for 20% off. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. So you might notice that things are a bit different in the background. I have completely redesigned the whole setup and a room tour that will be coming very soon this week, but this has to come out first. Fears to Fathom Carson House has finally been released. I've been waiting for this game for months, ever since episode two dropped. If you're new to Fears to Fathom, every episode of this game has a completely different story with different characters and everything. In the first episode, our house was broken into. In the second episode, we ended up getting stranded and had to go to a hotel where someone tried to drug us and then kill us in the hotel. And I believe they're all based on real stories too. If you guys wanna go see those other two episodes, make sure to check out the playlist. The link is in the description. But all right, guys, let's hop right in. Fears to Fathom. Episode 3, Carson House. All music tracks in this video game are copyright free. Ah, I love you. All right, episodes. Carson House, this game. Thank you. Episode playtime is 45 minutes. I believe the last one was considered 45 minutes as well, but the last one I took almost two hours to beat because I'm an idiot, but hopefully this one doesn't actually take that long. Fears to Fathom, episode 3. September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I am sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day, he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't too picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Okay, and we're in. All right, I gotta say something I love about Fears to Fathom is the art style. I always think the art style is phenomenal. All right, so we in the laundromat right now. Hmm. What am I doing here? I thought we were going to a house. Oh. Employees only. Uh, I don't see anything else for me to interact with. All right, screw it. We'll go into the basement. Why not? I love me a creepy little basement. Ooh, not when the door closes behind me, though. Okay, I have to be dreaming. Shift to sprint? Why would I be sprinting? Also, why does it look like I'm on drugs now? Everything's all wavy. Oh, there's a person. Hey, what's going on? Leech? What? Excuse me. What? Where did you put it? Uh, who are you? Where is Bleach? I need Bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I said I need Bleach. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. Okay, so I was definitely dreaming. That's for sure. Hey, hello, Dad. You still think you could do this? Uh, how long did I dissolve for? Doesn't matter. Can you do this now? I, I got this. Roy called in and said the keys should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in there for the snacks. Jeez, Dad seems a little rude. It was a nice neighborhood. All right. So the concept of this episode seems very similar to um, episode one, where we're kind of in the house alone and 
possibly gets broken into. Alright, so yeah, the key should be in the backyard behind the or under a fake rock. Oh, you hear that creepy atmosphere? Uh, ooh, we have a whole, who's Evelyn? School's full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you're either. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know, I haven't been a good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks about me. Raffle. I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. What did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but still feel stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyways, you got some making up to do here. The grudge next weekend? Wink, wink. 100%. Wink, wink. Smiley face, heart. Oh my god, heart. This little baby. Oh, cat. I'm honestly jealous of Ava Raffle. I know, right? Just had the weirdest dream ever. So we're talking to a girl named Evelyn, but we also have some like past with a person named Kara and it involves our dad somehow. So that's interesting. I'm sure we'll learn more about that. All right, where to fake rock at? Fake rock? <gasps> Doggo. Hi. Aw. Do me a favor. Please don't die in this story. Thanks. I'm going to call you boy, because that's what your house says. All right, boy. Oh, is this the fake rock? It is. Come on, boy. Inside. Or not. Do not disturb for any reason. I had to pee. That's odd. You know, if you're supposedly in a house alone, that there's a do not disturb sign on that door. I mean, maybe it's like the person's office or something, but still kind of weird. It's a nice house, though. Where the bathroom at? Should I try to go open the door anyway? Oh. All right, I'm not I'm not going to go in there yet. Oh, hell no. There's a basement. Dude, we're just starting and I'm already nervous. All right, where is the bathroom? That's the front door. Close that shit. No, thank you. Real was too lazy to model the garage. Real. That's a developer, by the way, for those that don't know. So this is the other side of the room. I realized the house was way bigger than ours. Yeah, this place is big, big. Oh. What the dog doing? What's up? What's wrong, boy? Everything seems fine. He was just barking at nothing. Okay, well, I'm happy that we have a guard dog. That makes me feel a bit safer. Ah, here's the bathroom. What is he barking at? I didn't see anything out there. Pee! If I actually get to pee right now... Yes! Game of the year! Oh, it looks like I'm missing a little bit there. Uh, flush. Nice. Oh, mirror no work. Uh, read messages. Uh, thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? It's gotta be Mr. Carson, right? My bad. It's Roy. Got this contract from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Haha. -ha. He's my dad. Damn, I'm not even gonna wash my hands. Alright. Let's continue exploring a bit. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him in the house now that I'm here. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. Oh, so the dog's name is Zeke. Kind of like calling him boy better, though. Mr. Carson's bedroom had this weird smell of wet clothes. You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I want to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement, right on it. Oh, I don't like how dark it is in some of these rooms. All right, the music just got a lot creepier. Couldn't open it from there. 
The music is so much creepier now. Okay, last time a microphone thing went off, it was because someone was in the building with me or in the room with me in episode two. There's no way somebody broke in already. It's so early in the game. I haven't even been playing for 15 minutes. Dude, what the hell is this? Mr. Carson's office looked like a good spot I could sit down to work at. Oh, hold on, I gotta make the dog his food. The microphone thing, it only went off when I opened the door? Okay, so maybe that was a glitch. Dude, I was scared for like 10 minutes for nothing. Could you get him his dog food from the basement? Ah, uh, that's right. Basement was a little too dark. No, really? It's also huge. Almost forgot I apologize for those lights in the basement. You could grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. Probably this room, I think. Right? All right, we got the flashlight. Oh, there's cans. Uh. Nice. I love a dog food opening mechanic. Hello, boy. I got you your dog food. Yes, sir. Yummy, yummy. All right, I guess we'll go upstairs in that office now to do our work. Hey, kid. Heard from Walter your computer was, huh? I have to ask a favor. My computer's been acting weird lately. My whole security system is tied to it. Oh, yeah. You got a whole security system set up here? Hmm. Let's go check that out, shall we? Have a lot of expensive equipment laying around. Don't want anything happening to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll just take a look at your computer. Or is Mr. Carson hiding something? All right. Let's sit down and get to work. I remember I was doing calculus that night. I did have schoolwork to do, but I wasn't feeling it at the time. No, oh, what's his password? Alec, Alec Arson5387. Okay, thank you. Let's go, hacker over here. Guess the flag.exe, egg.exe, inet7, internet browser, vcd burner. Let's guess the flag. A system has encountered a critical error. Okay. Uh, oh, what are these? Test one guide to being a guide to being a what guide to being a better person. Talk and talk in this video, we will be covering how to talk like a better person. Feel free to take a break whenever needed. Step one, don't be rude. So true. Being rude will discourage people from talking. Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. Ooh, doggo. Step two, remain calm in any conversation. Now, even though what he said was controversial, did you stay calm? The secret to being calm is to not let your fears interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. That's all we have for today. All right, I definitely think Mr. Carson has the darker side that he's hiding. Uh, inet7. Egg.exe? Critical error. All right, everything's critical error. Free trial for a limited period. Your children catch colds. Your computer catches viruses. Get full protection now. This feels like a scam, but... Oh, one thread found. Four. Five. Six. Security threat, Trojos A, risk high, infected location, system 55, threats not removed. All right, let's remove them. Done. Nice. 
Um, this program can't start because da -da -da is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix the problem. Oh, Roy texted us. Wait, hold on. What if I look up? Damn, I tried. Hold on. Let me uh, let me read the text. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. Hey. And Evelyn said, ooh, what was it about? Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on right now. You got to watch it with me. Wait, that TV got a place? Haha, <laughs> yeah, hold on. Hold on, Evelyn. I'm, I'm dealing with some uh, some other stuff right now. Inet. Okay. You got an elite security system here. With night mode, too. So we could see literally in every room. Okay, the dog's still eating his food. It's cool. All right, let's go watch this TV show with... Oh my God, I thought there was somebody on the camera. Let's go watch this TV show with Evelyn. TV. Uh, I don't like that my back is towards the door though. I love me cat food. It's on, are you watching? It's cat food. It's a very weird show. On an Evelyn, this is the weirdest show ever. I will be preparing what's known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. <laughs> we will need a piece of cardboard, a glass, and some milk. To start, we poured the milk into the glass. Next, we dip the cardboard into the milk. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. Uh, also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash on my nightstand. Okay. Oh, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. Alright, sorry, Evelyn. Your creepy ass show's gotta wait. Alright, so what do you say? Um, there's some cash on my nightstand. Oh uh, god, I hate these ads. Uh, yeah, Evelyn, I'm not watching anymore. Sorry. Ah, there it is. Hey, big baller. Okay, okay. Uh, for your trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Thank you, Mr. Carson. Mr. Carson's dope, dude. Let's go. Am I gonna lock the door or anything or nah? You could take Alex's bike. It's outside the garage. Ooh, I get to take a free bike too? All right, so far, nothing crazy sketchy has happened so far. Oh my God, I get to... Nah, this is crazy. This is such a step up from the second one too. Every time a Fears to Fathom episode comes out, it's always a huge step up from the last one. Oh, damn, damn! Bro tried to run me off the road. Canucks! That's gotta be the place. Nobody better steal my bike or I'm gonna be pissed. Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, uh, you doing good? Uh, yeah, I'm doing good. You? You're doing good. Use a shopping basket. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, what do we got to get? Oh, dude, these characters always look so creepy. Okay. Ranch, strawberry jelly, cocoa spread for Alec, milk and eggs, get garden peas, get honey, rice, Uncle Tony's only, ketchup, don't forget milk and eggs. That's a lot of stuff, dude. Um, oh, geez. All right. So I can mess this up, potentially. Hey, what's going on, guys? And speak of the devil. Turner and Andy? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. My girl. What was her name? Kara or something. Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh, yeah. You have to that other chick so quick, I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him. But, dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. MILF energy, bro. Ew, I think she's more of like a goth. Goth MILF energy. <laughs> are you guys done? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? Uh, house sitting for this guy, Carson. You mean that Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Heard kids are real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. 
Whatever, it fills my pockets, so I'm in for it. All right, dude. See you at school on Monday, then. See you around, Andy. Ah, damn. Back in high school, Turner was the class clown. Oh, I forgot we're out of high school now because we're like 18. All right, we got to get milk and eggs. Where the eggs at? What's up, old lady? Um, okay, this looks like hot sauce. Oh! Hey, son, do you work here? Damn, you a little too close. Um, uh, no. Ha, okay, son. Uh, why? What is it? Uh, my son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Uh, hold on. Let me get it for you. Oh, how nice of you. I'll be right over here. Oh, no, my eggs. Okay, um, all right. So ketchup's right here. So mustard has to be close, right? Oh, honey, I need that. Um, oh, there's the mustard and that's the ketchup. All right, cool. All right, let me get the mustard for this lady. Oh, what? Where'd she go? She said she'll be right over here. Oh, there she is. Wait, is that mustard in your basket? Could you get me one too? Bro, the mustard is for you. Where did she? Oh, stop teleporting. Oh my God, she's over here now. Wait, is that mustard in your basket? Could you get... Miss, 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 please come back. Please come back. I right, forget mustard lady. Oh, Uncle Tony's. There we go. Nice. I think that's everything. Should I build this for you? Uh, yes, please. Thanks for shopping at Nux. You have a good one. All right, awesome. Now, can I get this lady the mustard? Oh, I forgot to get something for myself. Damn it. Back home we go. I hope that none of that affects the story. Like if I would have got that lady her mustard. Here we go. All right, back at the house. Hello. I kept the groceries in the kitchen. Doggo still there? He is, right? Ah, uh, he's sleeping in the little dog house. Good boy. I guess it's time to do our schoolwork now. Damn, we left Evelyn on red. That's crazy. All right, another thing to note is that Alec, um, the son of Carson, is a bit of a weirdo, apparently. Ah, oh, we have to pee. I forgot. All right, I'm making sure every door is closed behind me. So I don't forget. Damn, peeing twice in one game is crazy. Okay, so far everything seems fine. It's raining outside now. Andy Reynolds. Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Oh no. Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex-wife. Who's his ex-wife? Co-founder of BN Media has allegedly been receiving death threats after the very public divorce with his actress wife, Alyssa Brown Carson. It's unusual for audiences to be nosy, but some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We are seeing something similar with the case of Roy Carson and the COO and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumor in fidelity that underwent within the said relationship damn they just leaked the house online that's crazy so to say roy carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him well this hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet but hunter news is actively trying to reach out to her so you, you the reader stays updated about the situation let me check the cam Um, shit. Why does he have like a duffel bag? They said don't open the door for any reason. Hey, can I help you, bro? Do I open the door? Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium sized pizza? Uh, I didn't order any pizza. 
Your one medium-sized pepperoni pizza, sir. You must be at the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of, um, Roy Carson. Here. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I could wait inside until the rain's over? It's probably not very safe to be out here right now, and I forget my raincoat at the shop. No, I'm not sure my dad would like that he's upstairs. It's not my house. I'm not sure my dad would like that he's upstairs. Oh. I understand. Well, you have a good day. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I only opened the door because I wanted to see what would happen if I died. And, um, I somehow didn't die. I thought I could watch some TV while eating. Damn, you're gonna eat a pizza that wasn't really ordered for you? Come on, bruh. Alright, I guess that's what we're doing. It's a normal pizza. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. Roy Carson. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute now. Oh my god. Bro, thank you, Mr. Carson. Hope everything's okay. Good night, Noah. Sorry, I got caught up at work. Good night, Eve. Sweet dreams. Damn. You already know Evelyn gonna hate me for that one. Dude, what is this weird ass show? Don't go to the toilet, man. I heard someone at the door again. I don't see anyone. Let me check the security cams. Yo, 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 yo. Why is she walking into the yard? Dude, I could have sworn I saw her walk into the yard and now I don't see anybody. What is that? Fuck, dude. Yo, if anybody comes in this house, I am throwing crazy hands. Who is it? Flowers? I didn't know what to make of it. It looked like a woman dropped them off at the door. There's no way I just continue eating my pizza, right? Evelyn, come on, wake up. I want to text you again, please. I'm scared. All right, back upstairs I go. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? Who is this? I can't even actually text them back. I assumed it was a wrong number. Yeah, how, how would they get my number? It was strange, but I dismissed the thought of it as a weird coincidence and moved on. Yeah, let's do some schoolwork, maybe? One thirty-six a.m. While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. Unknown sender, five messages. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You are being very immature right now. Fine, if you're going to be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter. Is that Kara? No way, right? Damn, it's beeping like crazy, chill! Where's the dog? Nah, 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 I saw that, I saw that. Mr. Carson apparently had a power backup for his security system. Well, I'm happy he did. Do I have to go to the basement and turn the lights on? Dude. What do I do? I hear Zeke. 
that car. I don't think that car looks familiar. Zeke? I hear him barking like crazy. It was suddenly very cold outside. Zeke, what's going on? I turned the power back on. I could tell that someone had cut the power off from in from outside. Come on, boy. Zeke was acting very weird. Someone's in the house. Come on, let me grab one of these knives or something. Unknown sender. You said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. Okay, first death, goddamn. I should have known not to walk in that room. I could tell it's someone to cut the power from outside. Fuck, please, I just gotta get back to the main room. I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. No, 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 no. Come on, bro. We checking them security cameras. Come on, you're not even gonna make a comment that the stuff was knocked over in the room? Shit. I'm just gonna do my schoolwork like nothing happened. You said you knew somebody cut out the power and you're just gonna ignore it. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. I might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Okay, she's just actively moving in this room. Is that a light on before? heard something downstairs. Did you hear that? It sounded like someone has a knife. The stove is on. I could swear on my life I didn't turn that oven on. Yeah, cause you didn't, bro. You bro, 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 bro. So is she inside or outside? Which is it? Zeke, do something, man. If she's outside, you gotta kill her. Or like bark at her or something. No, I had to go look. You really don't though. You really don't. I had to go down and check. Listen, girl, I will karate chop your ass. You best watch it. And his secret room door is open. Loki made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. I had to confront him? I didn't have his contact, I could only ask Andy. It's Turner in the house? Is that what he's implying? Dude, there's no way. Can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house, this is not cool. Dude, he's at my place right now. I attributed all of that to lack of my sleep. We were going to go to the movies with Brady, but then he started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. I was aware I have a tendency of being overwhelmed. I was only logical thing I could think of at the time was to keep an eye out on the security monitor. It's got to be Kara then, or a crazy fan. Fuck. 
Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops, but at the time I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that the idea never entered my head. Oh, that's always the first idea to enter my head. Dude, wait, did you check out that article? It was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. I hear someone walking around. I felt my heart skip a beat. That's a knife. I froze and kept sca staring at the screen in pure horror. Do I go hide? What do I do? She was right outside the door to the room I was in. I thought my heart would pound right out of my chest. That's the blocked off door behind me. Were you in there, Noah? I really missed you. Whatever's happening between us, we could work it out together. How did you get in here? I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. At least she's not a junkie like you. This is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance. You know I could turn you into the police for this. Do it and I will fucking kill both of you. What do I do? If I can't have you, no one else should. Fuck, fuck, fuck. So I'm thinking in that moment where she stopped speaking for a second, that's when I got to run into the laundry room. I'm pretty sure. All right, here we go. Getting up and running to the next room. So here's the issue. I'm pretty sure the game is picking up the actual game audio because of my Go XLR. Go, 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 go. I left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. 
though by the time they arrived she had already left the house, but I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing meth. I tried to get her help and she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops that she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course the cop wasn't buying it. I mean, she broke into a house, come on. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. True, she had the knife in her hand in the footage. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that, that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. That was Fierce to Fathom, Episode 3, Carson House, and looks like we got two more episodes left. Alright, so my overall thoughts on the game. I thought that this one was very, very good. Although, I didn't feel like it was that scary. Like, listen, the game is incredible. There's a ton of new mechanics, like the shopping mechanic and taking the bike, and there's a whole bunch of new settings and stuff like that. I love that a lot. But for some reason, like, I was on edge up until the end. At the end, I was kind of like, once you saw the girl walking around the house, I think it became a little less scary. I don't know why, but that's just my personal thoughts. But overall, I thought the story was really good. I like how the story kind of wrapped up in a nice, neat bow with at the end, it actually was Kara. And like throughout the whole story, you really weren't sure what was going to come after you, whether it was Turner, the pizza guy, a random crazy fan of the wife or Kara. But overall, I did like the game a lot. This game is better than 99% of the games I end up playing usually. And of course, I'm super excited for episode four and five, which I'm sure if he keeps making these games this detailed, it's probably going to take another year to come out. I mean, I hope not, but I'm sure it probably will. Either way, Rail, this is an amazing game. Um, great job. Also, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments if there's something that you would have changed or something that you liked or disliked. Also, don't forget to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it helps spread the video out to new people. And don't forget to subscribe, please. Like, only 50% of you guys are actually subscribed. And alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.